All right, all right. Welcome and welcome and welcome. Right now, if you haven't been a follower, good time to follow right now. I appreciate you for joining me tonight. Right now, we're going to do things a little bit different. Um, like I said on my YouTube channel, I am going to be talking about either current events or either reactions or anything that's going to be happening on this channel. So, like everybody know, they already know about the whole Will Smith and Chris Rock fiasco. Uh, over a day, day and a half now, everything is going good. Okay, they just slap, and then everything is all cool. But then it's like to the point that the aftermath starts to settle in. So, you got people saying this, you got people saying that. Some people are actually, I actually saw a little snippet, Joe Rogan, saying that, you know, he should have been thrown out. You know, thrown out of the whole contingency of having the Oscar. Some people are siding with Will. Some people are not. You know, it's mixed feelings all over. So, with that being said, it's okay. But then this happens. For those who don't know anything about what you're looking at right now you're basically looking at information about the real smith token which is a cryptocurrency just because he done slept chris rock this is part of the aftermath because everybody are buying into it that's the reason why so i mean I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing. Depends on how you take it. Either way, it goes towards Will a little bit. Kind of sort of like making like a little bit more extra money. At the same time, not only him, other people who invested into his cryptocurrency, they're also getting something from it too. So, yeah. But then I see a comment over here and they're saying it's a scam. So I wouldn't buy into it. I don't know. But then it's like a whole lot of people actually actually are actually like going into it. Yeah. This is it's crazy. All over a slap. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's just everybody is just all over. All over the whole thing. Everybody has something to say about it. But like I said, it's just. It just don't make any sense. It really doesn't about the whole situation i have mi me i have mixed information about it but then at the same time i have mixed feelings because yes i think he should have stayed there and defended her honor you know i'm also siding with some people and saying that hey you should have just pulled him over to the side say something to him you know, I ain't saying keep it in private, but I mean, come on, like, you can show your frustrations out, but you didn't have to do it on the main stage like that. So, my thing was, I think he went about it the wrong way. He went about it the wrong way, but at the same time, my information, what my people are actually saying is that. Some people are going around saying that Chris Rock took a L. He did not take a L. One, he's on a big stage. 
too. I can't just spaz out. Three is also something that, you know, you have to be like one of those stay calm, cool, and collective type situations. Now, believe me, I believe if you would have swung on them, I wouldn't have, you know, saw anything bad about it. But at the same time, it's not good for business. And then I was reading an article not too long ago. He has a comedy. He has like a comedy information. Not comedy information. I don't know what I'm saying. He has a comedy show coming up with Kevin Hart. So, yeah. Don't, you know, I wouldn't even did that. I wouldn't even swung back. What he did, it was was good enough. It was good enough. It was it was solid. You know, so I'm just it, this whole it's just blowing it all out of fiasco. Like it's just blowing it out of proportion. The memes kept coming and coming and coming. I just wow, some of them are cold. Some of them memes are cold. I can't even find them. I mean, they up here, but I'm not going to search through hundreds and hundreds of them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of this, one guy that I know of, they were basically were saying that if he was, if he would have been doing the, you know, the whole thing or whatever for, um, the hosting the show that you know he would have made jokes of him even more that he was gonna be going back and forth back and forth and everything and i'm like still that's it's not the right way to go it's like it's just gonna keep going back and forth and then next thing you know all fight break loose either way it's not looking, making us look good you know is not making us look good at all. So I'm just I'm torn between the two. I wish he shouldn't have did it. You know, I wish he shouldn't have did it. And then it's like a, it's so many dimensions to that too. To the whole thing with he laughed. He laughed and he laughed. Not chuckled up real hard, but I'm just saying he, he did like a brief laugh. Jada, she didn't like it. So he was like, okay, then I'm going to go up there. I'm going to handle my business. I'm like, bro, she didn't tell you to do that. You just basically took the initiative to just be like, yeah. I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna slap him and do something about it. You know, I'm gonna slap him silly. What you did? Did he get any brownie points for it? Probably not. He probably set up, she probably ended up, if anything, she probably ended up, was like, okay, you know, why you even did that and stuff. Because female like her, she kind of like perplexed a little bit. The reason why I say perfect, I, I, I'm with Chris Rock. I love me some Jada pictures, man. I love me some Jada. But past couple of times, she... And it's like, I can't, I can't fault her for that. I fought Will in a certain sense. He's still there. She told him he had an affair. She sat up there and he told him in his face that he wasn't satisfying her. And it and this stuff was like across the table. We already know about the bread table talk. We already know about it. And he gonna go into detail. But when that had happened, he basically just sat up there and sucked it up and just be like, yeah. Okay, cool. At that point, I was thinking maybe it was going to be like, are they going to break up or anything like that? 
But they, you know, they sat there and they stuck, they toughed it out and everything. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, something that's going to blow over. But over time, here we are. He say one thing. I mean, she doesn't do much. She basically just nod her head. And just He was like, okay, I'm going to go in the edge. That's basically what that is. Yeah. I mean, if you're watching or anything like that, you can chime in anytime. You don't have to wait for me. Um, if you're watching, make sure you follow. Make sure you share the stream out and everything. I mean, just feel free. It's, that is open for anything. Just want to throw that out there. But yeah, man, this that's... Yeah. That's tough. Very tough. You know, just been going on through my head a little bit about why things went went the way it did. And then on top of that, he ended up winning an Oscar. He ended up winning it. And then let's open up another layer. Open up another layer. Been hearing some people talking about that he should have got it. That's been surfacing around. So it's like different layers of this whole situation. I just don't get it. Like, it shouldn't have happened. But at the same time, I understood what he meant, what he's coming from about it. But then I also read earlier, there's different, another layer, which me and a certain someone had to talk about. We sat up there and we were talking about bruh, like he basically taking his frustrations out on Brock when he needed to be talking to Jada about this whole thing and stuff and everything and one person had I saw a tweet earlier like an hour or two ago it was talking about that he was talking about it saying that taking his frustrations out on you know on him when it's something that he needs to talk to her about yes that's that's pretty much the whole idea of what's going on with that problem most likely i just don't know no telling what's going on in that whole house really. but i know it's some stuff that you know it needs to be hashed out this is far from over from the look of things it's Basically making a wave, making waves all over the place. And now just, it's all making waves all in the sports realm now. Now just got information talking about, um, probably, no, you can't see it. But, let me, there you go, front and center. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, written something shares a written piece about his thoughts. See, it's just... And see, that's the main question right there. Will Smith did a bad thing. Did a bad, bad thing. And then some people are actually saying that, yeah. Was it good or was it bad that he did? It's just... It's, I, I just don't get it. Yeah, it's just it make you want to go into that, but I don't want to. I want to go ahead and I'll probably read that on on my own time. I said NBA star isn't holding back on his thoughts with Will Smith's behavior. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, it's that's. It's just basically just something that you need to like make yourself known about, you know, what's going on, how things are going, and all this other stuff and everything. So, you know, it's you got to carry yourself a certain way, no matter who you are black, white, male, female, you 
you know, mm. Hispanic or whoever, any nationality. It's all about how you carry yourself. At the end of the day, your frustrations comes out, but then at the same time, you got, especially when you're like celebrity, you got to suffer repercussions afterwards. So he's getting some accolades, the whole crypto thing, and a few other things that we don't know about. But he's also getting a whole lot of whole lot of criticism because what he did it was out in the public and then it wasn't even like a a sidebar person it was the main host of the freaking show you know so that's yeah that's that's just like i say that's tough that's very tough